Welcome to Business Profile on Lifestyles. I'm your host, Janine Buckner, and today we have a special guest with us, Cindy Reinhold of Brides and Weddings of Northern Virginia. I love your poster, it's beautiful. Thank you, I thought we could use a little decor today. And this is the cover <laughs> of your new issue, right? That's right, this is the publication okay. that came out in January. We publish twice a year, January and July. Okay, great. And I was leafing through this. It's a wonderful, wonderful publication. There's Thank so you. much information. And now that we're heading into spring, and you think of spring weddings. Yes, you do. What do brides need to start thinking about right now? And, and how much time do they need to plan? With your guide, I, it seems like they could plan it a lot more quickly than the usual time frame. But it's been a and while for me. So and they can. Yeah. Well, you know, right now in the pipeline, as I call it, the matrimonial pipeline, you have the spring weddings coming up mm -hmm. in 2013, just around the corner. And typically these couples are in what I call the home stretch or the bells and whistles phase of wedding planning. Uh, they could be looking for a rehearsal dinner location. The bride could be looking for bridal beauty, you know, hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, they should have an invitation by now to be ready to send out. Right. They could be putting the finishing touches on florals, favors. And so the guide and the website and the blog can direct them to those little bells and whistles mm -hmm. things to complete the wedding. Um, now you do have people though that can, you know typically people will take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to plan a wedding but you do have people and I find a lot of times it's because of military deployment oh, okay. that they will need to plan something in, in, a, in a hasty manner mm -hmm. say under six months. Right. And you know, I want I want couples out there to know that if you have your heart set on a spring wedding, that is still feasible. There are venues out there that do have dates that are still available, prime dates. I just right. I just posted one this week for for May fourth that was available at one of my oh, reception that's, sites. That's, I mean, that would, to me would seem like such a prime date. It's too, a perfect date, and for some reason it has not it has not booked. And so, if you go to the website bridesandweddings.com mm -hmm. and click on the calendar, you'll see an area that's called hot dates. Mm -hmm. This is where my reception venues can post available dates and special savings on those dates for booking. That's wonderful information. So the brides should definitely be checking this because it's a great opportunity to save. And I'm sure these are really nice places. And like you said, things can come up and they They're might have They're beautiful something. venues. I, you know, I find sometimes I get my hot dates because somebody has canceled. Right. Has canceled a wedding. So it could be on short notice. And this publication is such a great resource. It also gives you good ideas. It's not just, you know, getting names, but I was looking through and the pictures are beautiful. Um, such a great resource. Thank you. So let everybody know where to find the publication and also your website I know is like ranked number one when you search for Brides and Weddings That's of Northern right. Virginia. That's right. But um, let everybody know how to how to get a hold of this so they can get going with it. Yes, you can pick up a copy of Brides and Weddings. It's free of charge to the bride in over 150 different locations, local jewelers, bridal shops, reception sites, the registry at Bloomingdale's, and also too you'll find us at local bridal fairs and wedding expos too, mm -hmm. so you can pick up a copy copy from us at one of those events. Okay. And to find us on the web, go to bridesandweddings.com. Wonderful, Cindy, thanks so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.